submitting the form. Let me make sure. All right, awesome. So like I said, my name is Kate Higdon. I am slightly obsessed with February. Um, February is one of my favorite months in Prove It, in my Prove It world, because it was the month that I actually like did the, I hit rank six in January, but you earn the vehicle when you hit rank six two months in a row. So in February of 2017 is when I was like, oh my God. I'm going to go get my Jeep. And I was just so thrilled. By the way, if you are, if you're a rank six, but like just, you know, just haven't updated yet, because you have a chance, right? Put in the chat what car is yours. What car is yours um, as you're hitting rank six? I would just love to know. I would just love to know because that was my February. That was my February. Um, <coughs> February in the, in the business. All right, y'all are going to have to mute people because I make sure y'all are muting yourselves. Y'all know I can't with the Okay, so how what's going to come up in February? Um, very exciting things, things that I don't think we've ever as a big team. And you all are going to have to very <laughs> watch the Pulse app. Please very closely have your eyes on the Pulse app every single day. Like Spencer, we're going to fuck thing out um, instruction because we are going to have starting tomorrow morning starting tomorrow morning a promoter activity challenge for the next 10 days and every single day any one of you as long as you do the activity you can earn a prize and we're not talking about just little prizes we're talking like the good stuff in the swag store we're talking about a ticket to our mastermind, hint, hint, that is going to be coming up. So really amazing stuff every day for the next 10 days, and you're going to be given an activity list. There's going to be some, just like some little DMOs just to kind of help you understand um, what are DMOs that a rising champ and a champ would do. We're going to give you those DMOs, and there's going to be this one activity. If you do it, and it'll have instructions, you screenshot that you did it and you're going to email proof in. And each day, one person is going to win a prize. Now, 10 days, the people who send in every day for those 10 days, like you don't miss a day, all of those people get their name in for a big grand prize, grand prize. And we're gonna be dropping hints of the prizes and all of that. Y'all, our team loves these challenges because they're like, I never thought to do that. Or I knew I needed to do it, but I probably wouldn't have done it unless I was given a challenge to do it. Anybody relate? Put a one in the chat if that is you. Like you kind of knew you needed to do it, but it wasn't until Dustin challenged you to do it that you were like, okay, I'll do it. Right? So we're going to be helping you, supporting you. And what I love is that we're all going to be moving in this same direction. We're all going to be moving in the same direction. And that direction is towards a customer challenge that is called for the love of fasting. So February 12th through February 28th is going to be a customer fasting, intermittent fasting challenge. Maybe your team has a customer group. Maybe you are doing this yourself in a messenger thread. Maybe you're doing something in um, any, any kind of platform. People have their different platforms, but we're going to be providing you with information on how to market this, what to put in your posts, what to say in your stories, what kind of a, a reel. Maybe some of you do TikToks and reels. What would be a great reel that would attract people to want to do an intermittent fasting challenge? What do you say when someone says, oh, I already, inter um, I want to do that challenge. Oh, wait, I already intermittent fast. What do we say? Do you know? You will. How would you like that? How would you like that? Right? Or <laughs> everyone's like, what do I say? What do I say? We're going to give you videos to send them. We're going to give you language to share with them. Okay. Language to share with them. 
And if you are running this on your own, we're going to be giving you the content because guess what? Prove it's pretty much given us all the content already. So we're going to be repurposing the resources that we already have at our disposal. Um, because I don't know about you all, how many of you put a three in the chat if you have been marketing the iFast and feel like you have totally relaunched your business? I feel like it's been a complete relaunch. I was sharing about this on COC. I've literally had a couple people message me and ask me if I'm doing something different as what they meant to say is, did you join another company? Because that's how big of a new conversation this is. And I'm like, are you crazy? I would never, I would never, are you nuts? Like, no, I'm just part of a company that's always innovating. Like, how cool is that, right? So I'm super excited about that. That will, the February for the love of fasting starts the 12th to the 28th. Part of this activity challenge is going to be leading you step by step. And look, I get some of you are the green, um, green personalities that you want all the details and you need all the dots connected, right? If anybody, like if anybody raise your hand, if you're like that green personality, you need to have the whole map in front of you. I'm going to ask you to lean in. I'm going to ask you to trust this process and just lean in and take it a little bit at a time. We don't necessarily have to see the whole mountain to get to the top. We just have to see the step in front of us. Okay. Everybody got that? All right. And always reach out to your leaders and ask questions, of course. Last thing I'm going to announce, and then I'm going to throw it over to my girl, Sam, because she's got a really cool training for us to help us get through this activity challenge, is on your calendars, you may want to mark down March 31st and April 1st. March 31st and April 1st is a Nashville mastermind. Put a five in the chat if you've been to Nashville. It's like, look, we call it here in Kentucky, we call it Nash Vegas. It is a nice town, okay? It is a nice town. It is fun. It is fun and it is beautiful. And it's one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. It's absolutely amazing. It's, um, except for Carrie Clark, who we were trying to figure out, she could not figure out a flight to get to Nashville, which is weird because I just flew from Nashville to Reno and she can't figure out how to get from Reno to Nashville. Um, but it's actually typically a pretty easy uh, place to fly into. We're going to do a large mastermind that weekend. So be watching for, be watching for information on that. It's going to be all day Friday, all day Saturday, and you guys can head home Sunday. So you're home if you have things to do on Monday. Does that make sense, everyone? Um, okay. I'm going to throw it over. Cam, are you on here? Or not Cam, Sam. I'm here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Okay, y'all. So listen in. Sam's got some really cool stuff she was sharing with me earlier. I was like, wait a minute. I don't have a pen to write that. <laughs> stuff. So y'all listen up. Sam's going to throw some stuff down and I'll talk to y'all later. Hello. Hello. Yes, I do have some really cool stuff. And hello. Hi. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Janet. Hello, I see names popping up. I saw some other names, but I didn't absorb them. So hello to everybody. Um, so I've had some stuff on my heart that I want to share. And also, actually, my name is Samantha Rose. For those of you who don't know me, nice to meet you. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I have been drinking and sharing ketones now for a little over six years. I'm a mom of two. And not only did ketones change my life, but this business and this community also changed my life. So here we are today, and I'm sharing a lot of what I've learned through trial and error of just really applying different things in this business to see what worked, and then taking time to plug into external resources, reading and podcasts, and just listening to things and coming up with all these mind mind shifting mindset powers I like to call them that have helped me along the way with this journey um oh my gosh I can't wait to see you too Janet I'm so excited if you go into the Bahamas drop a one in the chat really quick I just want to see I haven't even been paying attention I know they already asked but like I'm gonna be there tomorrow morning I'm so excited <laughs> who am I gonna see there okay so now that you guys know what the challenge is 
And you're going to clearly, like Kate said, no more. I want you guys to also go into it with a fresh mindset. It's a fresh month. It's a fresh challenge. It's a fresh opportunity for you to create whatever you want to create out of this. You have 100% full control of the outcome of this and what you want to do with it, what you want to attract, what you want to create, what you want to flourish out of this. So I want to give you some new perspectives, some ideas on how to be super intentional with the content that you're putting out during this challenge in order to attract the people that you want to attract to accomplish all of the tasks of this challenge, right? I want to give you guys just some fresh eyes. Um, and I know Kate also said that she's been really focused on gaining followers and talking to her team a lot about gaining followers and growing your audience, which is 1000% most important in reaching new people if you're building on the internet and you don't want to just continue to talk to the same people over and over, right? Like the same audience. Do you want to grow your audience? But I'm not going to talk about that on here either, although it is extremely important. Um, in addition to that, there's a lot that goes into magnetism that you might not always think about, or maybe you don't even know about just yet, but you will. Um, so, you know, there's tons of activity that you guys will get. There's tons of activity that I wanted to give you guys on here. But in addition to, you know, engagement posts and the inviting people to the challenge as individual and the energy that we're committing to the challenge ourselves, right? If you're, if you're committed to this challenge yourself, even if you don't even know fully what it is, drop a two in the chat, please. Who's committed to the challenge? Drop a two, right? Like our people will do what we do, not what we tell them to do. So if we're not doing it too, we're not setting the pace. We're not setting the standard. So thank you. Okay, everybody, two, 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 it's a two party, <laughs> right? So putting that energy into it, inviting literally every single person to this challenge, like old customers, new customers, old promoters, new promoters, people on the fence, trial pack people. Literally, there's not one person in this world that you can, you they're, they're like, nope, I shouldn't talk to that person. You should talk to everyone. I challenge you guys to scroll through your contacts list in your phone. Almost play like truth or dare with yourself or something. Like, I dare you to message that person. Like, how many of those people are you actually going to message and invite to this challenge and talk to you about ketones? I did that when I first joined this community. Nick Martinez and I traded phones and he got to text five people randomly in my contacts. What do you know about ketones or ketosis in Atlanta, Georgia? It was great. Do that game with yourself. Message everybody. All right. So I have a question for you guys. Do you want your audience to go from, hmm, this person is interesting to, I need this in my life no matter what it takes? Do you want that? Yes. <laughs> Heck yeah. Right? Do you want to shift your magnetism from, curiosity, peaking interest to, I have to have what this person is doing. I need to know what that is. I need to be a part of it. I need to drink it. I need to feel what they're feeling. I need to do what they're doing. I don't even know what it is. Oh my gosh. The amount of people that come to me now, I love it. They're like, what do you do? I don't know what you do, but I know you're successful and you travel and you like drink something. And I think you something with you know, all those people, you want them coming to you. You want to wake up every single morning. I'm going to tell you, I'm like, this is what you want. You want your inbox to be full of people, your text messages, your phone calls throughout the day, random people being like, oh my gosh, I saw this. I've been thinking about you. What is that thing? Ah, right. Anybody else want to create that drop of three in the chat? How many of you guys want to create that magnetism? That's just people coming to you and being like, what is it? What is it? What is it? Right. The first part of that is clarity. If you're not clear on your values, if you don't identify your purpose for sharing, like why are you sharing the ketones, right? What transformation can you provide people? Really think about that. Write it down. What type of transformation can you provide people? Physically, financially, mindset, heart, relationships, community, love, empathy. There's so many things, so many things that you can provide people. Identify those things. When you 
think about those things. There's no mentor or business coach or social media expert that'll be able to help you grow your business and get the results that you're looking for until you become clear with those things. Because you're basically Christopher Columbus driving around without a GPS, right? Or like shooting in the dark. And that's not what we want to do. We want to be super clear where we're going. Yes. And you only have to be one chapter ahead of dot, dot, dot. I can't open it. Every time I check, click things on my phone, it freezes. So I'm not taking that chance. Um, so like what she said, it's in the chat. Kate said something really good. <laughs> All right. So this conversation is going to be also for the people who drop a four in the chat. If you ever feel like you post all day, but no one really seems interested or buys for me. I feel like that sometimes. Okay. Lots of fours, right? So we're, we're all here together with that. We're not alone there. Yes. Right. All right. So this conversation is for you too. Um, if you want committed, ready to invest clients to seek you out, to show up in your inbox, the content that you put in front of them, and yes, in addition to growing your audience, because it's uber important, but the content that you put in front of them, it has to hit really, really relevant touch points or pain points or emotional points that can relate to the person that's reading your post. And you're in control of that. You're as long as you put a little bit of intention. It doesn't even take a lot. Like it's literally just a little bit of intention. And those touch points are the catalyst to make your readers go from, hmm, this person is interesting to I need this person in my life no matter what. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about it. Let's unpack it a little bit. The common thread uh, of all of these touch points is using language that's relevant. Like I messaged, like I mentioned, like I messaged, like I mentioned, okay. You have to talk to people like Dustin mentioned. Also, you're the most qualified person to help the person that you used to be. Even last week, even a month ago, talk to those people. Like you're talking to yourself, whether it be currently or yourself in the past, right? That is such a great first step is to really, if you feel stuck in like, how do I talk to these people about this challenge? How do I talk to these people about what this can provide to them? Talk to yourself where you were at when you first started drinking ketones. What did you need to read? What would have inspired you? What did you need to hear? The most common messaging mistake that I see is content that offers a solution to a problem that we might know that the people need, but we actually don't um, make the people aware that they need it by intentionally finding maybe a relatable story about yourself or about them, something that can improve their life, but how? Something that'll give them more energy, but what will that extra energy do for them? Will it provide them more time, more happiness in the morning with their kids, right? That's something that is relatable to me that I share now. Oh my gosh, my mornings used to be so stressful. It's so crazy. I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I used to be so stressed in the morning. I was tired. I was working all night. I would come home and sleep a couple hours if I was lucky, take my kids to school. We were like late, frustrating, lunches. All and Can anyone relate? to having some type of stressful morning, whether you have kids or not, drop a four in the chat. Like, are you rushed in the morning? Do you feel like there's never enough time and you're just like, oh, right? That was me. And it's crazy. It wasn't intentional, but just over time and through this journey, I have like the happiest, most fun mornings, like abnormally fun. Let's just put it that way. Me and my kids have abnormally amounts, abnormal amounts of fun in the morning. Okay. So you guys relate to that, right? So if I were to tell you that I had something that can actually shift that for you and it's super simple and I can help you with everything you need along the way, is that something that you'd be interested in? Easy enough, right? We have all that within us. We all know that ketones provide us energy and better mood and happiness, but how are you 
putting that into a story, even just a blurb, even just what I just said, like how simple that was, right? Like, how can you shift that and throw that in there into whatever it is you're putting out there? All right. So in other words, don't sell the tool. Don't say like, yeah, okay, who wants to join my challenge? You can do that. Of course, if it works, it works. But also in addition to who wants to join my challenge, Talk to them about what the challenge is going to do for them and how and how it shifted your life and how it's going to shift their life. All right. Don't just tell them the method. Uh, just, you know, let them know, let them in. I think you guys get what I'm saying. If you get what I'm saying, drop a five in the chat. If you understand where I'm going here, drop a five. Yeah. What problem does it solve? Okay. 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 Right. We could say exogenous ketones, but they don't know what the heck that is. We could say instant ketosis, but like, what the heck is that going to do for their life? Even if we say energy, we need to tell them what that energy is going to do, all right? We need to tell them what the better sleep is going to provide. Even if they might not realize it, we need to tell them everything. So they're like, yes, I got to have it. Message, buy now. Here's my credit card. Smash. <laughs> Did anybody see that? Smash. <laughs> okay, anyways. So all the powerful tools for transformation that we have, but unless the audience truly understands how it's actually relevant to them, Eh, it's not that big of a deal. All right. So the more clear and the more precise you are, the easier that's going to be for you. So really identify those things, whether it means writing it down or really thinking hard, meditate on it, whatever you do, just figure it out, identify it and roll with it and commit to it for this challenge. That's what this is all based around. I'm teaching you guys this so you can really commit for this challenge. You can really give it your all. You can really use these new tools and these new awarenesses or these reminders to push the pedal to the metal to help you move the bar forward. Because if you're on this call, you're serious about this business, right? If you're on this call, if you're serious about this business, drop a six in the chat. If you want to build a huge business, drop a six in the chat. <laughs> Just saying, right? These things are going to help you build a huge business. And if you feel like these are super simple things, drop a seven in the chat. If these are super simple things, drop a seven. If these are things that you feel you can do a couple times a day, drop a seven. We're all capable of doing this, right? We just need to be intentional. If you're unclear on how this is improving the day-to-day -day challenges of people and what tangible and intangible outcomes can happen, then take some more time to get clear. They're not going to see the value until you're clear, all right? So you can ask yourself, here's some questions that you can ask yourself. You can write this down too. Uh, and I'll text this to Dustin because I'm going to give you guys like 5 million questions at rapid fire. Not yet, but the rapid fire is coming at the end. But here's a couple to start it. Ask yourself, what's in it for them? What is in it for them? Benefits, right? What relevant problems are being solved for them? What is something that they will gain? What is something that they will lose? Who can they become? And what specifics around their life will be improved as a result of our work together? So good. You need to ask yourself these questions all the time, okay? And remember, they're buying into the outcome, not the product. They're buying into your belief and your certainty and the outcome. So one thing I also want you to do is make a list of your non-negotiable DMOs during this challenge. Like, what are you committing to? Certain amount of time per day, certain amount of time blocks per day, a certain amount of conversations per day, a certain amount of new conversations per day, a certain amount of posts per day, a certain amount of reels per day, a certain amount of lives per week, a certain amount of what? All of it. I want you to write it all down and commit to yourself. Because listen, if you don't start with at least doing this 10 days in a row, how do you expect to build a business or a habit of doing this all the time? This is nothing new. We're literally celebrating and doing prizes and fun things around stuff that we're already doing. So this is like, this is the foundation of building your business. Um, I, I want you to make that list and send it to the person you're working with. Show it off. Be like, here's my list. Drop it in your chats. Here's my list. Send it to the person that you're working with the most. I don't care. Put it in every freaking group chat that you're in. This is what I'm committed to for the next 10 days. Who's with me? You know what I mean? Get people fired up. Be that inspiration for your team. 
like Kate and Dustin both mentioned, we're doing this all together and we we have so much momentum when we do stuff all together. And this is huge. I don't know if you guys were who was and wasn't around for when we did our last humongous team challenge like this, but it was incredible. Better. We, we did better. You in 22. Was that the last one? Oh my gosh. That was so long ago. Well, if, if you guys were around that, you remember how cool it was. And if you weren't, then you're in for a treat. It's awesome. It's so much fun. People freaking love it. It's such a great conversation starter and your mindset is everything around it. Um, so if you have five more minutes and you drop an eight in the chat, oh my God, we're going through all the numbers. <laughs> I have these questions that I like, I did all of these Zooms, these one-on-one -on -one Zooms. And I, I saw like a reoccurring conversation happening. And I wrote down some of the most frequently asked questions as people were asking them. And it was like a common trend. So I wanted to share those with you guys and then share some of my mindset shifts or solutions or questions that you can ask yourself if you're open to that. Would you guys like that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm seeing the nodes. I'm not going to ask you guys to drop another number, even though it's really fun. Nine. <laughs> drop a nine in the chat. Drop a 473 in the chat. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Mary Beth. 400. Oh, look at all the 473s. All right, cool. Let's do it. So, um, <laughs> Here's some of the reoccurring challenge. All right, here's a few question reframes too. Um, if you guys ever get these questions, I want you guys to think of this from like you're talking to your team as well as you're talking to yourself, right? Because these are questions that you can ask yourself all the time. And again, I'm gonna go kind of fast because there's quite a few, but I'm also gonna send these out to Dustin to post out if, I don't know, however, or teams, it'll get to you, I promise. All right, remember, I wrote this down to start. Remember, what you see is on the surface. It's 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 never the real challenge. Whatever they tell you, whatever people tell you their setbacks are or the things that are holding them back or their uncertainties, there's always a deeper question that'll help you uncover what's actually holding them back beneath the surface. So when you ask the right questions, you, you'll you typically uncover that. Um, so number one is how do I get motivated to share? Like, how do I just share? That's Literally everybody was like, I'm unmotivated or I'm stuck, right? So questions to ask yourself. Yeah, always else, <laughs> always ask what else. All right, questions to ask yourself. How badly do you feel like your audience needs to know what you have to say? Rate it on a scale of one to 10. How badly do you feel your audience needs to know what you have to say about ketones, about the challenge, about the business, about the community? What is the problem? your expertise solves and everybody on here has expertise okay even if you've only been doing this a couple days you know how you feel you know how you got to where you are right now you know how you got on this zoom you're an expert <laughs> right like what is the problem or the perspective you wish more people had identify that and what is the core idea you believe about ketones or the community that is not talked about enough. Think about that. Mm, the core idea that you believe about the ketones or the business that just is not talked about enough. I want you guys to go write about that stuff. What is the problem that you can help people solve, big or small? It's okay. Something that's small to you might be humongo to someone else. It is, not might be. It's totally humongo to someone else. So have certainty and confidence in that. Uh, number two was how do I stop caring about what people think? Like, you know, worried about the perception of others. Um, and how do I just like get to posting? So questions to ask yourself. How embodied are you in your perspective of what you're sharing? Like how much do you actually believe in what you're sharing? rate it one to 10 or put it in words. If there's, if it's not a 10, what's holding you back? It's okay. It's not bad. If it's something is not a 10, it's just an indicator of where you can spend some time discovering and learning about yourself and where you just need to shift to help get you to the 10, right? What part of you feels maybe a little uncertain or a little wobbly about your message or your belief in yourself? 
or your belief in what you're sharing? Is there something that you don't fully believe in? Talk about it, write about it, identify it, shift it, figure it out. It's not a horrible thing, but again, you always want to bring it up to a 10. So just identify if it's an eight, what, what's going to shift it that two, 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 right? And are you writing to emulate someone else? Like, are you writing to impress people? Are you writing to uh, be accepted or like perceived a certain way, I guess you can say? Or are you writing raw and relevant? Like something that is about you, like raw and real and authentic because people can feel that. And sometimes if I'm like in a hurry or I'm writing, like I can, I I feel that shift within me where I'm like, "Mm, this isn't raw or real or vulnerable enough. Like pass, 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 smash. Yeah. Real is the smash. Smash the real guys. All right. Number three, (laughs) how do I transfer over the energy and confidence that I, okay, this is (laughs) that I have in person or on calls. So like people had, were saying that they feel really good, like, which is not a bad problem to have. Like this one person I talked to had a tasting party and they're like, Oh my God, I freaking crushed it. I feel so good talking to people in person and this and that. And when I get to the internet, I'm like, crickets, crickets, right? Like they were asking me how to shift that confidence from talking to people to like, talking on the internet. Um, so questions to ask yourself for that is what part of you believes the way you write needs to be different. What part of you believes that the way you write needs to be different? What part of you is it, or, or maybe is it, do you feel you need to be more professional the way you naturally, like find where you feel something about you is just not good enough to share. You want to really think about that. Just like, huh, why do I feel that? I can tell you some of mine. Sometimes I'm like, I'm not that interesting, right? Or like people, I don't feel like my life is that cool. Or like I have anything super inspiring to share. And then like I get messages and people are like, you're so inspiring. You're this, you're that. And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, sometimes you need that. So so I have to ask myself those questions sometimes. Or I'm like, all right, what story am I telling myself right now? There's moments where I forget who I am. But like (laughs) identifying that within you is so powerful to help you move forward and say what part of you, you know, or what what are your quirks? What are your attributes and personality traits that you are known for, that you do feel confident in, that you do feel certain in, that you know already works? Like, what does that look like? And that's such an incredible shift to go from that one mindset to another. Like, what if your writing just became a natural extension of your already existing voice? Like, the things that you say out loud, maybe try talk to texting it into a note. Don't even, like, open Facebook. Just nope. Like, what do you want to share? What the heck is on your heart, man? (laughs) What is on your heart, guys? What is it that you're like, this just isn't shared enough, or I really, really, really want to share this. Go talk to a note and just read what comes out. Sometimes you reading it from your voice, it's like, oh, wow, I really do have some good stuff to share, (laughs) right? All right, so another one, (laughs) yes. How do you make sure people convert, like closing people, getting people to buy, to order? Um, I just said, you know, like ask yourself, what within you is this? Are you 100% certain in the product? Yes. Are you 100% certain of the experience you're having? Yes. Are you 100% certain of what this can do for you? Yes. So why in the world would this be something that's, that's holding you back, right? Like supporting someone on this journey through their challenges, whatever it may be. Um, And then asking your ideal clients or your ideal avatar, that's the word I'm looking for, your ideal avatar. uh, The questions that really, if even if you can see what, what they need, asking them questions to help them identify what they need Kind of like what I talked about at the beginning, like 
How will this help you? How will the extra energy help you? What will extra energy do for your life? What will the happiness do for you? I had this one woman message me and she literally added up all of her ketones for the whole year because she was just doing her taxes. And she was like, I, she literally wrote me a whole ass paragraph about why she loved everything about Prove It. And then she was like, but this is how much I'm spending. So I'm wondering like, what I can minimize and get rid of in order to spend less, even though I had already talked to her a million times about free product and promoter and all the things. Right. And I sent her this voice memo and I basically did all the stuff that I'm like teaching you guys right now. And I had this like two minute, like helping her come to Jesus moment. You know what I mean? Where I was like, listen, you just expressed to me all the things that this did to change your life. The energy, the focus, the challenges that she was having in the past, she's not having them anymore. And she's given me a lot of excuses on why she can't share it with two people and nobody wants to buy around her and all the things that I'm sure all of you have heard. She's given that to me for multiple times, right? And I asked her, you know, is it really worth you sacrificing the quality of your life And the quality of your future, the quality of your happiness and the quality of everything she mentioned above, I went through each thing. I said, is that worth sacrificing to just not have a couple more conversations and find two people that you want, that want to do this to get it for free? You would rather sacrifice the quality of your life than continue doing something that you can actually Not only like say, like you won't have to pay for it anymore. It's free quality of life. And her response back to me was like this big. And it was like, I am going to find two people. It was literally like, that was it. You know, so the, the shift is really helping people identify what this is going to do for their life. So I know that was a lot and I talked forever, but hopefully that helped you guys. Did that help you guys? Did you enjoy it? Drop a 597 in the chat if you enjoyed it. (laughs) And if that was helpful, uh, it, it truly is such a world, man, this is our business. We're in the relationship and people business and the support business. Like this is what we get to do. So just, I I challenge you guys to become a master at this because it'll get you so far. It's so fulfilling and it helps so many people along the way. Awesome. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Yes, exactly. It is the price of a latte. Um, But I'll pass it back to you, Kate, uh, and let you close this out. I appreciate you guys. Y'all, I'm going to actually be passing it back to Dustin, but Samantha, that was amazing. Like I'm getting messages from people saying fire, fire. I love it. I love it. So I'm excited to get that list of questions um, and dig deeper into that. It's just such a, it's just a different perspective, but I love it. Dustin, you want to close this out? Absolutely. Hey guys, give some love to uh, Samantha and Kate. I appreciate you. I know that this is going to be recorded. It is recorded. It'll be up in YouTube and shortly um, pop by the end of the night. So you can always check that out. Um, here's the deal. It's the month is just beginning. You just digest it. Maybe uh, for some of you, maybe a lot of stuff that we can work on and you can work on everyone in chunks and every, everyone in bites. And so we're going to be going through this. Um, I'm going to encourage you to watch the replay. I'll be pulsing some stuff out, but our goal is to walk. It's to walk you through this journey, but more importantly, to inspire you to become better, right? And my challenge to everybody out there is what is your health and physical goal for, 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 for February? Like hold yourself to that standard, right? Um, what did that look like for you? What is your you know, business goal? Is it, you know, is it to do what uh, uh, Samantha just said and say, listen, for 10 days in a row, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit to this, post this much or reach out to this many people, but like, let's hold yourself to the standard of where you wanna go because if somebody's going to join you in this journey, like, are they joining you that is going for something or are they joining you that's just trying something? And so this is an opportunity. February to me is the month we're going to launch our business. We're going to launch this thing bigger and bigger, and we're going to be keep building on it month after month. So I'm super excited. Thank you guys. Uh, February is going to be an awesome month. Stay tuned on the pulse. We'll be getting more information to you guys. 
um, throughout the week, throughout the month. And I'm super excited. We're going to be circling up the reminder team uh, of the team Zoom on Thursday. I'm going to be covering what I covered on the champion Zoom. So um, you're really going to want to you're going to want to plug into that one. It's going to be a really, really cool special Zoom on Thursday. Um, I think I am, by the way, I might I might get corrected on that. But with that said, you all have an unbelievable night. Appreciate you, Kate. Appreciate you, Samantha. Happy last day of January and let's go February. Everybody unmute and just say hi. Oh, never mind, you can't unmute. I had to mute y'all. Hi. 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 Okay, everybody. Hello. Hey. Hey, that's hi. Hey, good morning. Hi. Thank you. Hey,